Hello, this video is intended to help you with the conversion of any remaining AppleWorks documents that you may have on your computer. So I'm going to actually show you two ways. The first way is if you have only a very limited number of files that you want to keep. This is probably the fastest and the easiest way. So I'm going to go and grab uh, some files. I'm going to actually go to old files because I know I have some in there. Um, let's take this one right here, Internet Agreements. Now, first of all, you know it is an AppleWorks file if it ends with .cwk. That is the um, extension for uh, AppleWorks files. You can also sort by kind by clicking here, and it will group all of your AppleWorks files together. You can see I have mine all here. Um, so I'm going to go to this first one, and I'm going to double-click to open it. You see it's running AppleWorks. When I get into the file, if I just simply want to turn this word processing file into a uh, Word file, I can go to the File menu, choose Save As, and then down here where it says File Format AppleWorks, we need to change that, and you can choose the most recent version of the Mac. This obviously is not um, the newest version of Word, but obviously AppWorks is an older program. So you would take Word for Mac of 98 or 2001, and you're going to save it back to where you want it. In this case, just for now, I'm going to save it to my desktop. Normally, you'd probably want to save it back to the original location. And I will click Save. And it will tell me that it is translating. And now if I were to go over and open the file I just saved, you will see that here is the original file. It loses some of its formatting. It is slightly different than the old one was, and I'll show you just the comparison. You see this one had the box around it. This one doesn't. But at least the text is all there. The formatting is pretty simple. Now, the important thing that you must know, this will work if you are talking about um, a word processing file or a spreadsheet file or even a presentation file. This will not work if you are trying to do a draw document or a database. Draw files, you, your only options are to save those as a PDF or as a JPEG. Um, those cannot be changed after you do that. Um, if you have files like that, I'm going to tell you what you need to do is actually go up to File Print. You will need to print a hard copy for yourself or save it, a PDF copy so that you have something to um, copy off of when you go to make your new one. If you're not familiar with how to make a PDF, you do file print as I just did. And there is a button right here that says PDF. You click on that button and the very first choice is save as PDF. When you do that, you will be able to have a copy of that file that you can open forever and ever, but you will not be able to modify it in any way. Think about that if you're thinking about an award or about a newsletter or a calendar or something else that you may have done as a draw file in the past. Okay, so that's one way is simply to file save as and change it to the other format. The problem becomes if you have a lot of files, because if you have many, 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 many files and it would take you hours and hours to go through every single one doing it that way, you may wish instead to do a batch convert. So instead, what you would need to do first is do a user support center request from the technology department to request a copy of the converter software. And that software is called MacLink Plus Deluxe. So I'm going to bring that up here so you can see what that looks like. It's a very, very simple stripped down software. There's really not much to it. And it pretty much tells you right here what to do. Drag files here or click add. So I'm going to actually do the drag. I'm going to take all the ones and you can grab them. If you notice I have them sorted here by kind. So if they're in a group, you can grab them by holding down your shift key at the end. So I had clicked the first one. I'll show you that again. I click the first one in the group. I go down to the last one. I hold the shift key and I click. And then that highlights all of them. Now if I move them over to that window, now you see they all popped up right there. They're all highlighted. That's fine. Now I want to click translate. Translate you want to put them, let's see, first of all, we have to tell it what what format do you want it to be. So assuming it was a word processing file, I'm going to tell it, well, yes, I want it to be a Word file for all of those. If I had any spreadsheets in here, I would want to make those Excel spreadsheets for Mac. Database and graphics, don't even bother because it won't do anything with it. And then choose your destination folder. I'm going to put it 
back in the same place where they are right now. Let's go over here, and it's in my files here, and it's in old files. So I'm going to put these all right back in the other place where they came from. I choose, I translate, and it will tell me now all at once it's doing all 14 of my files. Here's the trick as it translates these. You notice in this folder I have a PDF file. The problem is if it encounters a PDF file, if I had just dragged this entire old files folder over, I could have done that, but the PDF files will cause the program to crash. So it is not an elegant solution. It does work. Um, it's up to you if you want to go through folder by folder and do it this way. Um, the other option you have is you could try searching your computer. Um, you could try searching for the word, you know, CWK, for example. See if you can get them all to come up and just dump them all in one place at once. Um, that, of course, will uh, mess up your strategy for how you had them sorted in the first place, but it does work. The next thing to note is that after you have these translated, you need, while they're highlighted, to click the word remove because otherwise it's going to try to translate them a second time. Now let's see if these files did get translated. Now I'm going to sort it by name. And you can see that it does in fact now have the original copy, which was AppleWorks, and now the copy that says Word after it. So it's generally the same file name with just the word Word. And it's up to you if you want to keep your originals or get rid of the originals. Now one thing to mention is that, again, if you try to put anything in here, let's see, this is a database, so I had attempted to put that one through it and it just rejected it because it knew it couldn't translate it anyway. Um, you will want to watch for those ones that don't have an equivalent here that didn't get translated because those, if you need them, um, will require special attention and again you'll need to either print out a copy for your records or you will need to um, maybe request some additional tech support to help you. One thing to mention is that um, we hopefully will have some strong professional development opportunities for you so that if you want to then learn how to recreate some of these files in a new format such as Print Shop or Microsoft Word or um, a different program we will be able to help you with that in the future. If you have any further questions you know where to find us. Hope this helps. Thank you.